Hello and welcome to my channel. The only channel where the giveaways are almost as rare as the quality videos. Today I will be showing you my Yes on the Wanderer Bard EDH deck, or Commander deck, depending on how you want to call it. Yes on the Wanderer Bard is a 3 drop 2 3 legendary creature human rogue. She her ability is 3 mana tap. Put a verse counter on her. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to the number of verse counters on her. Put it on the battlefield and then shuffle your library. She's good. She's really good if you can get a buck, if you can get um, more than four verse counters. But after that, she's kind of useless. Lands Reliquary Tower. You need an every DH deck. Hickory Wood Lot. Land, 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 land. Moss Work Bridge. Just get your creatures really early. Land War Reborn. Get it on a creature who needs it. Opal Palace. Hopefully get some commander damage in. And Colony Garden. Um, another target for Avengers Endicar. Waiting for Avengers Endicar. Nyxthos Shrine to Nyx. <coughs> That's great. Even if you have three devotion, it becomes good, which is easy in commander. Temple of the False God. EDH Staple. Slippery Karst and um, Tranquil Thicket, the um, Cycling Guys for green, oh, and then Oran Reef, which is like the second best land in EDH. Next to Gaia's Cradle, but I'm too broke for Gaia's Cradle, so if you want to send me one for free, cough, 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 um, be great, but I'm too broke for it, so not really, it's a joke. Um, you don't need to send me a Gaia's Cradle. Um, yeah, it's a really good guide just to give your guys a crap ton of creatures. And they and then if you have Colonian, they all double, which is great. Then 23 forests. Now into Mana Dorks. There's Seder Wayfinder, which is tap, untap target land. Fidhorn. Elvish Mystic and Lanwar Elves, the trio, and there's Birds of Paradise, and Arbor Elf. Now on to my um, utility guys. They are Yeva, Nature's Herald, gives me Flash, she was my commander, but isn't anymore. Oracle of Moldaya, Evergreen Deck should run her. The Doka Gardener, great. Not only gets all your lands out really quickly, but once you have 10, um, you just get your Dokai, which is just amazing. Acidic Slime just will move all the way. Gaia's Herald, nothing can be counted, all your Enter the Ability uh, will um, trigger. Um, Yagamaya Elder, just get all the lands. Burnished Heart, my Elk, its ability, it's 3 mana, and sacrifice it. Search your library for two basic lands and put them on the battlefield tapped. Elvish Aberration, great, and second ability is great. Farhaven Elves, Elf, you just search your library for a basic land, which is pretty straightforward, but sometimes very, all the time is very useful. Secret Skybreak, allowing you to activate Yasan twice, getting being able to use her twice as fast. So Kura Tribe Elder, more land fetch. Solemn Simulacrum, look, more land fetch. And then draw card draw. And Yarrow Bees gets really big, really fast. And does a little bit of burn, just to end the game or end a creature. Scoop Mob, um, just gets really, really, really big, too quickly. And once you have to kill it as a 1-1, one, one, which is kind of hard for most people, or just face the wrath of it when it's like a 45-45, then you have your Colonian Hydra on the battlefield. It's beyond overpowered. Then we have... These are these are kind of going towards the um, mid-game win, win cons. Then there's Dungrove Elder, which is kind of the beginning of my tree folk combo, kind of. Dun Dungrove Elder, Colonian Twin Grove, and Dauntless Doorbark. Then not really a tree folk, but kind of a tr technically a tree folk. 
is Chameleon Colossus. Gets really big. You um, put the um, plus one plus one counter on it. Then you have Colonian Hydra in the battlefield. It gets really big. It just gets disgusting. And then every time you activate it, because its power keeps on getting bigger, because Colonian Hydra gives doubles all plus one plus one counters. So you swing, her plus one plus one counters double, and you activate her ability, doubling the number of double plus one plus one counters plus the power, her power. It's really good. Then Moldiah Channeler, she's either a really, really good mana dork or a really, really good creature. Palaka Worm, Life Gain, and Card Draw. And a gigantic creature. Why this thing is not a rare confuses me every day. I've like have, have had sleepless nights wondering why it's not a rare. Then Platinum Angel. Don't know, I didn't know whether to put him as a wind condition or a utility card. Because it's good, it's a great wind condition, but it's also a disgusting utility, quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote. Then Root Elemental, get my World's Fire Worm before it belongs. Dark's Horde, to be able to play all my creatures really early. I just f saw that it was a creature today. I was like, oh. Chance of the Tangle. Getting them in your opening hand just makes the game completely unfair. Like, I've had games where I had Chance of the Tangle and Soul Ring in my hand. You just play him, and then you get your Soul Ring. Then you have three mana open. Get your turn one yes then or something really, really disgusting really, really quickly. Then Molimo, Mara Sorcerer. Um her he gets really gigantic. Really gigantic with because I had games where I fed my entire land, which is thirty two lands on the um battlefield at the same time. Like all all of them. And he's just like huge. And Rampaging Balaths get a lot. I usually, pl if I get him in Genesis Wave, I'm really happy. Because you just put him in then all these beasts. Then Tornado Elemental, kill all the flyers. And um, this thing is just amazing because you can swing and have nothing. You can just have it assign combat damage. It's unblockable, pretty much. You can choose for it to be unblockable or you can have it be blockable, which is great. Terastodon, green staple. Wow, I just realized how cool foils look on the camera. Um, yeah, it's really good. Just get destroy everything, and then get three threes. Colonian Hydra, just just disgusting with all my counter plus one plus one counter guys. Yeah, I I, I realized recently that it's plus one plus one counters on each creature you control, not just him, which is. So broken. Then, of course, Vendor is Vendicar. Um, sadly, can't run Vendor. Um, can't run the Green Titan, Primeval Titan, in this deck with him because if I could, um, people would hate me. And he's banned. So, <laughs> disc, disc. Um, Creator Hoof Behemoth. Every Green deck win. Will he get banned because he should be banned because he's really good. Plus X plus X until end of the turn where it's just like with me I'll just play Hub Avengers Zendikar and all my guys become like nineteen nineteen just blobs of terror. Then World's Fire Worm, get him on the battlefield. Just disgusting. He's like the most I call him the most Eldrazi, not Eldrazi, Eldrazi and Eldrazi. That's not Eldrazi. Because he's so like in a he's just like you shuffle him into your library, he's a massive creature for less than you should pay. He has trample, and he multiplies when he dies. Then we're on to enchantments. Primeval Bounty. He's really good. He's not a very expensive card if you're running green. Go to your local comic book shop, pick him up. He just ends games because you get all these beasts, all these counters, and all the life gain. All of the life gain. Primeval Etching. Just looking through a dollar box, found this card. In my opinion, I think it's better than Sylvan Library. Because you don't have to lose the life. And if you're, I'm running a lot of creatures, as you saw. Like, um, you're most likely going to reveal a creature card, and then you're drawing a card. Which is a two-card draw. I think 
you should. It's not worth sinking the forty dollars when there's into a silver library when there's primeval etching. Then there's exploration. Just went up to fourteen. It's really good. Really good. Fist of Ironwood. Great. I just put it on. I preferably put it on my scoop mob. Then overgrowth. Disgusting. And there's soul ring onto artifacts. There's soul ring. Everyone knows what soul ring does. Swift foot boots. Can't find a lightning greaves. I think better than lightning greaves. Glaring spotlight. Um. Just like it's broken. So broken. I'll just have my. I'll just play it after playing Creator Hoof. Should not be legal in anything. Then there's birthing pod, of course. When will this thing get banned? It's actually a fun story behind this. It's, it's in it's in Spanish because um, when I went to buy this, they picked up the wrong card and ex accidentally gave me a Spanish version of Birthing Pod, which is kind of cool. Then Nissa Ravain. I'm running a lot of elves. I don't have much life gain. And her final ability just gives me so much mana. Oh yeah, this we're on the Planeswalkers. Guard Primal Hunter. Um, just get a lot of creatures and a lot of hard draw. And then Garrett Color of Beasts. I mainly use her his first and second ability. Have yet to activate his final ultimate ability. Um, yeah, it's really good. Then my final Planeswalker, Garrick Wild Speaker. Just untap two target lands. What I'll do is I will put my Overgrowth onto my, um, Temple of the False God. Then automat and then I'll with him on the battlefield. Every time I tap it, I untap it and get eight. And then I'll put un also do my Nyxos or something like that, and just have infinite mana forever, pretty much. Um, and then Harrow, great for activating landfall, spoil the victory, more land fetch, arcane cultivate, Kodama's reach. Boundless Realms to activate Landfall Infinite Times, pretty much. Oh, yeah, um, a few, um, EDH tournaments ago, I played this guy. Someone was running a mono-red copy instant sorcery spell deck. They copied him twice, then played a Pentavis. Their commander was, um, Perforos. So, <laughs> it was a sad game for everyone. Realms Uncharted, get all my special lands. Natural Affinity. Oh, we're, yeah, Natural Affinity. Just, like, I'll have 20, 30 lands on the battlefield. And just swing in for everything. It's also a great blocking trick. They'll swing in with their with their big, um, Eldrazi. I'll play that. Even if I have, even if I have 8 lands on the battlefield, it, draw, it dies. It's really good. Summoning Trap. It's really good. Even if you can't activate its special ability. It's a Genesis Wave, pretty much. Well, not really. It's a worse than Genesis, oh, Genesis Wave. Green Sun Zenith. Really good. Search for Tomorrow. More Land Fetch. Really good. Rampant Growth, of course. Peregrination, of course. Tempting Discovery. Sorry about that falling. Um, Nessus Expedition. Sky Shroud Claim. Cultivate. Genesis Wave. And then this next card is pretty fun. Primal Surge. Love playing him because usually by the time I play him, I'll have most of my instant sorcerers in my graveyard. And it's just disgustingly overpowered. You most of the time will get what you paid for back. Deck. Yeah, so that's my um, um, Mono Green Yassan the Wanderer Bard EDH deck. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, thank you. Any, any suggestions? I'm really, really open to suggestions and what you think I should put in, take out, modify. I still have not built um, an online visual um, deck list, but I'm in the works of doing that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.
Bye.